Hey guys, Dimash from 34 here, and today we're going to take a look at Transformers Hunt for the Decepticons Banzai Tron. This figure is just a plain repaint of the Revenge of the Fallen Voyager class Bludgeon, which was a fantastic figure. Um, and this has just been repainted in some very, very nice colours, actually. Um, I'm really not sure I prefer. Um, I absolutely adore the colours on this, but Bludgeon is pretty badass as well. Um, really not sure who I'd go for, but um, this is still a fantastic figure nonetheless. Um, yeah, so it has been done in very nice grey and green and some gold and purple. It's sort of a mishmash, really, but it does come out really, really well, um, and I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, but anyway, very, very nice looking tank mode. Um, it's a nice, solid tank. We don't get that very often. Um, it's a nice, solid um, Voyager class tank. Um, the turret does rotate 360 degrees, which is fairly nice. And yeah, we have some guns up here. Well, not exactly guns, these are sort of rockets. I'm um, not sure what they would be called, but never mind. There's a little machine gun up here um, that seems to be bent and just won't bend into place properly. It's really annoying. Um, but never mind. But there is the figure itself. Very, very nice. He has wheels underneath on the treads there. Um, so he does sort of roll. Um, but it's an absolutely fantastic figure and a fantastic looking vehicle mode. So let's get him transformed into the robot mode. Okay, so Banzai Tron's um, transformation is exactly the same as Bludgeon's. There are no differences, it's the exact same mold. Um, first thing we're going to do is going to remove this. Um, that's his katana, um, which looks really, really nice actually. It's been painted in a really nice blue, um, as opposed to Bludgeon's just plain grey. So that's pretty cool. Comes with the katana. Anyway, um, to continue the transformation, what we're going to do remove the tread pieces like that, just unpeg them and fold them up like that just like so sometimes it's a bit stiff on mine unpeg that, come around here just unpeg the, um, the leg section like that and I'm just going to rotate this out like that Make rotate out until you hear a click. Then what we're going to do, oh, that's come undone. Stop it. Is we're going to take this piece, rotate it back just like so. Rotate that back like that. We're going to fold the legs forward or into the middle like that. Then we're going to rotate this section around like that. Rotate these pieces out and flip up these little sections. Then you're going to flip out his feet, just like that. And then we can close these pieces back over. And there are his legs. So that's a fairly cool looking transformation. Um, yeah, it's fairly involved. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and grab this section. One second. Grab this section and fold it out. Rotate it down, like so. Grab the arms from underneath. I just extend them out, fold them up under there. So we're going to decide, rotate it out, fold that down. Then for the head reveal, we're just going to take this and push it down, and that reveals the head. Close that back over. And there is Banzai Tron in his robot mode. Now, this figure does have a very, very nice looking robot mode. Um, it's really nice and bulky, and it does give that samurai look to him, uh, which I think is absolutely fantastic. He does hold um, his katana um, really nicely, actually. Provided you can actually get him to hold it or get it in his hands more either. So you just hold that. It also comes with a different weapon on the back here. Sorry, I've got hiccups, it's really annoying. Anyway, rotate that out and flip this piece out, and there he's got a little sword in there. That's weapon storage. Now, you do actually like to leave uh, that open like that, it looks a little bit better. Um, anyway, you can take the um, little dagger and peg it in there which I think looks really cool um, where he's got the one long sword and the small one so definitely nice um, and I just absolutely adore this figure I love samurai figures um, I think you know samurai transformers are some of my favorites I mean look at Drift Drift's one of my favorite characters um, and you know I just love samurai um, transformers it's pretty darn cool but um, yeah there is Banzai Tron now here's just a quick close up on the head sculpt which gets out of the way there's a quick um, close up um, it does look very very cool um, really, really scary actually. Um, now you can see that the colours on this thing are just wild. He's got red, he's got green, he's got gold, he's got purple. I mean, damn, this thing's just got, it's, it's got loads of paint apps which I really, really like about it. But sometimes the colours are a little bit garish. 
In terms of articulation, um, we have got a head that can rotate. Um, we'll be able to rotate 360, but it is hindered. Um, we've got a joint up here, can rotate these 360 degrees, bend in and out here, bend in two places at the elbow, and the wrists do sort of move. No waist articulation, he's got a joint up here, can bend in and out, bend at the knee, and the feet are on a pivot. So it does have some fairly decent articulation. But that is it for Banzai Trans robot mode. So let's get him transformed back into his vehicle mode. Um, first thing we're going to do is gonna remove all of his accessories. Like so. Flip up the hands. Just like that. Come around here. Push that in. Lift this up. Like that. Gonna flip the feet up. Just like so. And just get everything folded up. Nicely like that. Rotate these pieces out. In fact, we can make sure. Let's just put that in. Make sure that doesn't go anywhere. Um, rotate this up. Rotate these little pieces up like that. And I'm just going to put these up and peg them together. Right. Would help if I put the arms in. That would help. Put the arms in. Just like so. And try not to forget about them. And peg them together. Like that, rotate um, these up, and then we're basically done. To make sure it's pegged in, it's sometimes really annoying to do. There we go. Make sure that pegs in nicely. On the other side, do the same again. Get that pegged in there. Peg that section in there. Like that. Then it's just a matter of putting the tank tracks together. And there we are pretty much done. I mean, you can just take the sword, wedge it in there, and there is Banzaitron back in vehicle mode. Overall, this is a very nice figure and I do highly recommend it. Anyway, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you guys later.